Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Who Said This with Naomi Kawakam Tinkulu, where we quiz a journalist on what's been said by a politician or a public figure this week. But also, at the same time, we get to know the people behind the headlines, the news, the politicians, the press conferences. Guys, today I have a superstar. I'm actually excited to have this person with me today. Ladies and gents, help me in welcoming the one and only Natasha Piri. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, hey, hey. I just saw how I'm a superstar. Why are you? I'm saying? really not sure. No. Okay. Superstar. You guys, <laughs> you guys always like undermining the roles that you guys have played in the industry. Okay. No, You're not no, a superstar. Not a superstar You're just, you just somebody who just works in the Omogel. Omogel. Wakomora. So Natasha, for people. Wakomora. <laughs> For people who don't know who you are, just give us like a quick intro. Uba Anwe, now, what makes you interesting? Why? Hey, guys, my name is Natasha Piri Ntumengan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, from, first and foremost, thank you so much to my friend Neil for seeing this invite to be on the show. I was always envious, <laughs> here, but I'm here. Nila, I'm Nila. here right now. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so, um, for those who don't know me, my name is Natasha Piri. Um, I'm a journalist um, at the SABC, the public broadcaster. I work under the politics division. I'm the only girl, by the way, just saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, and then I'm, listen, I'm very simple. Um, for those who don't know me, I was born and bred in Alexandra, aka Komora by my mother Vera Piri and my father who departed, who's departed now, Samuel Piri. Listen, I love journalism, I love what I do, I love my colleagues, but they also, I, I think one thing I love about journalism is that we learn each and every day. And I love this profession because, you know, you learn things each and every day, things that you didn't know. And yeah, it's enlightening, honestly. That's what, I really love my profession because of that. So that's just, this is me. And get that like a regular And this is <laughs> the thing about you know, <laughs> the thing about our field of work, as you said in Kapuana, you're always learning something new. It's like there's so much to there's so much that you're taking mm. in. There's so much that you're taking in. It's such a cool mm. thing to do, but sometimes well, when it's it's overload of information. You can't even now think True. Of how to cut it and send. And when you seeing people on social media saying something, you're like, "Hi, hey, man, actually, this is well, well." And that's why people say we're taking sides because we're like, "No, man, I was sitting in that press conference for ten exactly. hours." Exactly. So I know what's. And now people forget that. Remember, and one thing I love about you, Neil. Earlier on, you said, "Um, this day, I don't know if you remember, you you released a tweet." You're like, I need to normalize reading um, your your reports, commission reports and whatnot. As much as we read them, sometimes then we get tired. We get Most tired. Most release a 180-page report. Tomorrow you're going to work. You need to conclude that and you're thinking, oh my gosh, how do I get through all these commissions? Or- and, it's and a lot. And the, the thing about us is that we're not handling just one commission on all. So it's not like you just you. it's not like you're just handling the Val Water Commission by uh, or, exactly. or, report, or report by by the human Zondo. rights. The Zondo. And uh, like the following day, you're expected to know all of those, you know, and there's a lot. There's a lot that we're going through on it on nice. just one on just nice. one day. But like I just wanna mm. I, I we, I want us to know you a little bit better. You know, like I've always been confused to read Omo Soto, Omo Zulo, Omo. But now, <laughs> but now that I know that you come from Alex, it makes so much sense because I'm like this accent, <laughs> this accent. So who are okay. you? Like, <laughs> like you were born in Alex. Uh, where did you go to school? What are your influences? You know, Uno Dalaka, Tistratege, what? You know. Okay, so guys, with me, it's, it's, it's a bit different. Um, as I said, I was born and bred in Alex. Mama is from Mama Ashu. My father, again, we saw recent pieces from um, Malawi. So, to me, I can only just African cheat <laughs> um, <laughs> But basically, I grew up around um, a whole lot of people, a variety of people. I mean, 
when I'm at Tonga, where I used to live, you know, Mavenda, Mapedi, Basoto, all these people. So, I mean, this all was infused, you mm. know. So, I I think I just grew up knew, knowing all these languages, although not perfectly, but yeah, I would accommod- uh, accommodate such languages. Um, I went to Houghton Primary. I had a stint go Chapari and then I settled in at Wendwood Primary. From Wendwood Primary, I think that was in grade three. Um, then I went to Wendwood High School. From Wendwood High School, um, I matriculated. Following year, I was just confused for what I was going to do. Journalism, law, PR, and then I decided, okay, listen, let's just go try, uh, go PR. Mm-hmm. Go UNISA because at that time, um, the Faculty of Humanities had moved from Social Media to TUT, yes. the main campus, to Coca. So I was like, yeah, yes. because. <laughs> but then something is like, listen, but girl, you love journalism. Regardless of where the campus is, yeah. you'll be able to do this. I went to TUT the following year after UNISA, studying PR, I went to TUT. Costa Shanguve and Bon. It was I, I loved it. I enjoyed mm. myself. I learned a lot. I excelled in it. Um, we got chosen. Nellis Timsos Toile. Um, he's at Newsroom Africa now, some PR guru. Mm. Uh, we got chosen to represent the university. Um, go Stellenbosch. So just go there all the time. No, not Stellenbosch, I beg your pardon, Rhodes. Yes. Um, as part of the FJP program, the Future Journalist uh, program. I was a student mentor as well, but I enjoyed myself. I loved my time at CUT and it really helped me because it built me up as a person, my character as well. I then graduated, I went to go um, intern at a production house. Um, and when I was at that production house, Nikki Lala and Jika Internet. I saw this thing called N7. Me at that time, I didn't know. I kept innocent. <laughs> I'm like, ah, they're looking for journalists, these people. I apply. They interviewed me. I thought they were joking, guys. One of them <laughs> something called the live crossing. But no, okay. Um, there's a live crossing. Your screen is off again. Do. Oh yeah, okay, it's fine. Hey, hey, somebody's trying to call me. Oh and <laughs> the, <laughs> sorry, you know. And they're like, That's please good. do one, two, three, four, five, four us. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, are you serious? They're like, yeah, have you never seen a live crossing? I'm like, yeah. But what is ABC? Can you look at what is ABC? A nine seven like it. Hey, Kabua, Kabua, Neo, Kabua, Dot. At that time, I'm thinking, I'm like, well, the situation here is very tense. This one is protesting. This one is protesting. I'm dying. You know? And I'm and I'm thinking to myself, why? I have no idea what to tell you. No, I'm so mad. And the following day, I says, "Come back. You're going to put my life. You're going to be deployed there." And I'm thinking, taking my money. <laughs> I give you like live crossing. No, I kid you not. You went for training even on the first day where I did a live crossing. Yeah. No, they can't hold because I'm serious. We are going to Balang. There were these election uh, programs. So DJ Kanyani Naja like um and my piece was on the election day, that day, that day, that day. But I'm sorry, what's happening? What's happening? Yo, yo. Yeah, it's so loud here. Yeah. It's very loud here. Yeah. People are queuing. They come to see DJ Kanyani. People are voting. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, no, please don't cry, friend. <laughs> and listen, I think I had to learn by seeing other people. But okay, when do I so this? You compose yourself, I will rise. <laughs> because at that time, I'm really, I'm not gonna speak about this music. No, no, because <laughs> <laughs> you look past at these things and you're like, oh my gosh, that's a good cool. <laughs> and you compare, but okay, this is how it's done. And, you know, and I'm grateful to the mentors that I had in the industry. I mean, both the end thing I would always give us head notes. Hold on, yeah. again. Yeah. How to my life crossing with that soul, with that chum chum, you know? So, yeah, man, that's how I started. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, we'll compose the song. Compose the song, please. I just, I just wanted I'm to sorry. know. 
<laughs> I, I was gonna ask you about your journey uh, at NN, yeah. NN7, but before I get that, TUT, TUT produces one of the best journalists in the country because I think it's because like you guys do, um, what do they call this? You guys actually do field the work. Particles. The particles. Yes. As you are studying journalism, mm. unlike other universities in Kauteng, where you go do your 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 history of what what contextual mm. what what and you don't get like field work so that's how you guys can just jump into the field and back sure. life crossing and <laughs> make it noise uh, <laughs> because I I applied for NN seven so many times like I don't know that uh and I was at the citizen at, I was at the citizen at that time yo I didn't like I, the place at that point. Can I, apply, maybe I can apply. Was a blessing to skies. You know, maybe yes. I would have been like, yo, uh-uh. But anyway, Natasha, mm. so your journey into NN7. Eh? So as you as you elaborated, it was very colorful. <laughs> the interviews and everything was colorful. So I mean, a lot of people um always circulate that clip where um who's this? Praveen Garden is telling you yeah. is, is is saying to hey, who, who are, was NN7 here? So that mm. moment when it happened, when when Praveen was literally attacking you guys there, how did you feel? Because I would have like, yo, I, would, I could see Vinka Vikan saying, I would have just disappeared. Like I don't know. Like how did you feel in that moment? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, it wasn't a pleasant experience, I won't lie. Um, in all honesty, all I remember, I remember I was sitting at the back. And you know, that day, that morning, mm. I wasn't supposed to go to that story. Somebody else was supposed to go. They're like, Mochateng Hai, Babo. And remember that, I think this is when I started to see that things were changing in the office, you yeah. know. Um, I'd always been a human interest person. But I was thrown into politics somehow. And I'm like, listen, but at that time I didn't have an interest for politics. Yeah. This is a Friday, by the way. Yeah. I had a plan for I'm going to go to a story, I'm going to do this. They're like, Sissy, you're going to Praveen Koran. Shut up, go to Praveen. And we're sitting in the room. I remember I spoke to some journalist. I don't remember what publication she was from. Yo, there were things turned sour quick. <laughs> And they, they're like, where's in and seven now? And this girl is calling me out, so raise your hand, raise your hand. There is treasury stuff that is busy brewing, that is jeering. Mm. Guys, I don't know what's going on. And can I tell, let me confess, guys, for the first time in my life, there was an ex of mine who was sitting behind. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. I'm like, literally, I'm cringing. I'm just holding in the tears. Because, guys, honestly, I, I, okay, now, <laughs> mm. uh, the older Natasha is like, but you could have said something. But, guys, yeah. it was overwhelming. You have people it who are cheap. It, 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 it was bad. It was it really yeah. bad. But I remember I heard a voice. I know Barry Bateman and somebody else who was saying, no, but this is just an innocent journalist. She knows nothing. Mm. And he's like, no. Havina is like, no, 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 no. Where were you when the organization said something? And to me, I'm thinking, listen, I, I've, I've, yes, I've met you before, but not on these grounds. And yes. who am I to, to, to fight, you know, our superiors? That yes, yes. I'm just a journalist. I'm sent out on the mm. field. And you have all these people brewing. And remember, this is when they just got reshuffled. Yes. Neo, I cried. I cried. I remember there was one journalist who was very happy that this thing happened. I won't mention yes. what media house she was from, but it's a radio platform. <clears throat> the home of the yeah. Yeah. And 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 she just looked at me and she just laughed. Yeah. And I'm thinking, but do you understand what's going on here? And unfortunately, the power such journalism that may be, I won't even say, I won't page names. Nobody called me to say, hey, mm-hmm. what happened? You know, no, honestly, it, it's, it's something that's still up to this day. It's like data. And yeah. I see people tweeting about it on Twitter right now. I got tagged two weeks ago. Queen and brought it to my attention from the city press like two days ago. 
that somebody had mentioned my name and I'm like I don't want to talk about this anymore yeah. it's okay if we deal karma karma is also a thing you know I believe in karma but it's 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 something very unpleasant mm. that happens to journalists. A very few had called me afterwards from the SABC, Barry Bateman. I, I don't remember where the other, pub, okay, there was somebody from Pretoria News and some other publication that came to me. Mm. And only two journalists stood up for me then. But I'm like, honestly, if it was, if if the tables had turned at that time, let's just say I didn't work for eight and seven, mm. I'd have more support, mm. you know? So, Unfortunately, that happened, and yeah, it is what it is, man. And 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 people forget. Even I think even politicians forget, Roy. Even if the company, the executives, mm. have a mandate, you as a journalist, how about fit that mandate? You know, it's not something where you go into a boardroom and sit down and say, "Okay, guys, our mandate here mm. is one, two, three. They forget. I think like people think there's this agenda that is being formed. Yes. This, I, 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 I assume there are secret meetings that are happening in dark corners concerning journalists and what and whatnot. But some of us have never been in those meetings, have never been part of the agenda. And I always say No, people mm, people say, used to call us okay. Gupta agents. And yes. sorry to cut you in there. It's okay, yes. People forget that some of us I got fired and I got rehired for eight and seven. Don't forget that. Um, we protested. Remember after the AN7 8? One time we sing Baba Tibet. Yeah, I remember a protest outside. Tomorrow. Yes. We we came in to protest against them being fired and we yes. got fired ourselves. Yeah. Um, I then went back. I won't lie. I got rehired again. I then went back. I won't lie. These are bread and butter issues. Yes. But it doesn't mean Kore. I was aligned with their narrative and yeah. everything. This is what people forget. So. Yeah, and have, I wanted to on a on a point your solidarity within the industry. I I think also solidarity amongst journalists is a performance of sorts. It's it's a it's a theater of sorts because mm. when you go through something as a journalist, people are withdrawn or like there is no body for us to say, mm. hey guys, I am struggling in this sense. Hey guys, I am struggling with the certain politician or something. Mm. How not solidarity? It's like you were left to the wolves at that point because if you look at that clip, there were a lot of journalists sitting in front. People were laughing, you know, people were kickling as, as somebody was being... And it's not a matter of um, NN7 was, was being attacked or Natasha was being... The whole industry was being attacked at that point. You know what I mean? Irrespective of what we think about the Guptas, irrespective of what we think about personal politics, because now when this matter comes out, people are like, yeah, I remember Anelita Natasha. Yeah, I remember this. But like, solidarity is something that we are struggling with yeah. in this mm. industry. But let's move on. I mean, great things are happening now, Natasha. You are at, SA, you are at SABC. You know, you're a political reporter. So, how's your SABC journey so far? Yo, guys. You know when they say when they make the analogy for a um, God took the Israelites out of Egypt mm. and into the mil- uh, into the land of milk and honey. Um, I think that is my story. Mm. Um, yo, like I don't believe. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe. Um, I mean, the SAPC is such a good employer. I am learning a lot. No, um, and it gives you so many opportunities, opportunities that you think you wouldn't get, opportunities where, you know, when you're from this other podcast and you wish to work with this person because you can see this person knows what they're doing and mm. and you work with that person like, oh my gosh, finally, this is a dream come true. It's like I'm ticking my boxes, yes, I'm ticking my boxes for SABC, but listen, I'm learning a lot mm. and... Sometimes, you know, you find yourself in a place where, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I not? And you do it and you're like, God, I did it, you know? Mm. And 
this is where I'm at right now and I, I'm loving every minute of it. I love learning each and every day. I'm not perfect, you know. Mm. And I think people must also understand that that you know we as journalists are as much as we read as much as creep out at the end of mm. the day, you know, we are bound to make mistakes. I'm bound to make a slip of the tongue. There's certain yes. words I can't pronounce. There's yes. certain words I've got a gap. Yes. So otherwise no well, I guess. So, out to say, <laughs> bleh, bleh, bleh. like I'm mad. Bleh, when you're just there, it's not there, it's there. <laughs> you know, so know. these are just the things, some of the things. But listen, I'm, I'm loving this journey. I really am. And, and I believe that God has blessed me. And you know what? What's interesting, ne? and I know you say you're not a superstar. Okay, you're not. But like what's interesting from the whole NN7 class of journalists, you have people like Samkele who made a name from that mm. situation. You have Clement Magnatella who got out of That's that situation true. and made a name. And you also got out of that situation and made a name for yourself. I know there was a there was an anchor on SABC who also started as a marshal on on NN7. You know, I, I'm not sure if she's still there. But, you know, I think it's one of those things, like, if you are destined for something, it will happen. And it will happen in such a beautiful frequency for you. But my advice, mm. my advice to you is that, you know, SABC is going through some financial issues right now, Ned. Yes. Mm. Don't, don't, if you still want a career in journalism, do not leave SABC. Uh, I think SABC <laughs> propels your career to higher heights because you then see the mandate of a public broadcaster, you know, because you're going into these areas, into these places that most journalists mm. can't go into, you know, but SABC gives you that platform because the mandate is the people. You know, in, in most pub, um, private media, the mandate is to make money, you know, it's to let's fill up the, the quotas, you know. Mm. So, you know when when they when they give you shit at SABC, you just pray and say thank you God that I am here. You know because <laughs> more blessings are gonna come. No stress. Amen. Up. Amen. I mean, I feel like we went from laughing to being serious. <laughs> to being in church. <laughs> to being in church. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. Let's, let's get to the quiz before we finish the whole night. You know sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you talk to certain people and you, I, I end up talking for you. I thought I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I, I've, I've never laughed so hard. Yo, like I, <laughs> I, I needed this. You know, like I didn't know and then N7 was so fun. For, now I thought, you know, this is yes, some serious journalist, you know. But like the but more... At, at some point, listen, we, we learned to laugh. Yeah. All we had was our colleagues. And can I tell you one thing that mm. kept me going for in and seven was our colleagues. Beautiful yeah. people, grounded people, people who are very talented, especially young people, black, yeah. young black people who are talented. Well, and we would joke all the time. Mm. I think that's what kept us through. <laughs> very loud. We joke mm. all the time. So yeah. But were you never suspicious at NN7? Because I read a book, somebody stole my book, but I read a book where mm. one of the bosses used to stand on top somewhere and just look at the staff <laughs> down there. Like... Mamel, I, I think the pieces of the puzzles only came later on. Mm. The, like, <laughs> this minister is always here. It's upstairs. By the canteen, there used to be some room. Yeah. Ministers were always there. And remember the, the Sachi Awards, the South African of the Year Awards. Mm. And hey, I'm not going to mention any names. I don't want to get into trouble. But mm. the people's people, even now, mm. were people who are nominated in the South African of the Year Awards. I remember even before we, we, we decided to go protest, um, we met Lubo Atu, Lubo Aji, Barabona, Bana Chelete, all these things that you could see at some point for I know my more. <laughs> Something is not right. Something is, is, is very, very wrong. Um, you know, you're the first person that I'm telling about this, and I hope I won't trade on you. <laughs> but, um, I remember, man, we, we, 2017, the ANC policy conference um, and the elective conference. 
um, our boss at that time, Abinal, used the same questions. You read these questions, and I remember sitting really get through my cafool. She was working at Independent at that time. I'm like, ah, my friend, me, I'm not going to ask these questions. <laughs> I've still got a future in journalism. These things are going mm. to compromise me. Uri bale, uri bale, rawa. They are aligned to a certain faction. Yeah. I was like, never, never. Every time ne, I'd read these questions, I would switch off. Oh, before I'd switch off my phone, I would say battery low. Yeah. Two phone is off. I wouldn't even sit with them. Yeah. Yeah, because... You're sending me questions. Mm. These questions are aligned to a certain faction. You can, you can see, see oh, no, something is mm. not right. Mm. I was like, no, I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't think I can do this. I really can't. I, I mean, our, our mandate is to be impartial, guys, as yeah. journalists, not to be biased. You know, to both sides of the story. Don't embed me into a story. I'm not yeah. going to take sides. Whether I'm working for A and Seven, I'm not going to take sides. But yeah, it is what it is. But um, I think there was, before we got to change, there was a bit of light when we got yeah. to into Afro Worldview and um, Mr. Mzanele and I came in. Things got way better. You could see Horoke here, here. Yeah. But direction. unfortunately, here, yeah, it got closed down. But yeah, but yeah. I think you and Samkele and Clement or whoever the gang was of young journalists at that time, you guys need to come together, write a book. I will definitely buy it. You guys need to come together and just write a book, you know, of the experience. You don't have to say names like your experience of the coupes. But okay, let's get into our quiz. <laughs> Because this okay, was okay. I'm so nervous. This was this was so fun. Like yo, I've never been so relaxed in a while. Okay. Our first no, question. No, no. Okay. Natasha. Yeah, you just took my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Our first quiz is. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Remember that the president Cyril Ramaphosa sent soldiers here. We are we are almost a third year to our people. Our apologies. Who said this? This was said this week, now. Is it Deputy President David Mabuza mm-hmm. or Human Settlement Minister Lindy Sisu? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think, let me take a bet. I was in the office that day. Samgen was coming that story. I didn't hear Lindy Sisu speak. I, th- I thought I heard Didi Mabuza speak. Go <laughs> <laughs> so we are right. Ah, like, that was like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> are we? Didi. Are we going with Didi? What is your gut feeling saying? The thing is, I didn't see Lindy on the screen. I I kid you not, I didn't. Let me go with Didi, guys. I wonder this thing of not <laughs> watching news. So the answer you are looking <laughs> for. Is <laughs> it's a David Mabuza? You are right. Because that one, right? <laughs> Ooh, you really confused me there. <laughs> I fed you a spin doctor. You must be a you must be a strong person. <laughs> I should consider career in that. He's <laughs> your following question. Mm-hmm. This one <laughs> was trending, right? The, mm-hmm. Your following quiz, rather, is Miss LaRue must shut up when I'm speaking. Who said this? Mr. Miss LaRue. <laughs> oh, Dalim Puff. I had to say that. Dal. Mm. I haven't given you options yet. But oh, here, here are your options. <laughs> here are your options. <coughs> Brian Molefe. Oh, Floyd Shivam. I'm, I'm kidding, friend. Your, your other option is uh, uh, Dalim Pofu. Is it Brian Molefe or Dalim Pofu? Dalim. Dalim. No, I'm not going to waste your time. You're correct. You're really correct. It is Dalim Pofu. Yes. <laughs> So, 
your following following question is I don't have a full answer as we speak but there have been recommendations that there must be a stricter lockdown in a sense of restriction restrictions so i'm going to repeat it i don't have i don't have a full answer as we speak mm-hmm. but there have been recommendations that there must be stricter lockdown in a sense of restrictions here are your options is it <clears throat> minister zwelim kize or president cyril ramaphosa uh, he was speaking to my colleague Kesalda last night. I own a hair, but by TV, you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 I'm, hey, hey, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my I god. Watched <laughs> you know, I watched this day, guys, and I was like, yo, you are going to fail. Yeah. <laughs> the Ooh. next. The next question, you've got three now. Okay, the next question okay. is, if we look at the political attacks on the commission, the president mm. going there will give the commission some credibility and will determine and will demonstrate rather that he is not above the law. This was said by a political analyst. That's my clue. Is it Ralph Mateja? Oh, Levy, no. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> you must get one wrong. <laughs> Levy, no is my former lecturer. Uh, Ralph Shane Boyna was a mentor back then. Um, friend, please repeat that phrase again. Maybe I'll know who can, the wording. If you look at the political attacks on the commission, the president going there will give the commission more credibility and will demonstrate that he is not above the law. <laughs> Why? And both of them could have said those. Yeah. Jesus. You have to go with your gut feeling. Okay, wait. Did this person say today or yesterday? Please give me a clue. Yesterday, this person it have to be Nivando. This person did not say it on TV, so scratch out TV. This person spoke to a colleague of mine, Rao. So, who are you going with? Nivando. The answer you are looking for is. Ralph, at what time? <laughs> I can't make my vote counts. Oh my gosh! No one called yesterday. Oh, <laughs> Listen, mm. you're... at least you got one wrong. I mean, that's not bad. I want to get all of them. Right. <laughs> Season two, you'll be back. Um, Wait, I'm the only one. Okay, how many questions are there? Four. Oh. Yeah, so you've answered five. Uh, you've answered four. You still have the last one. Here, get it right. Just yes, your <laughs> your last <clears throat> question uh, quiz. Mm-hmm. Let's not continue to conflate issues. Let us all acknowledge that government has honoured its side of the deal in so far as NAFSAS <clears throat> is concerned, including student unions. Who said this? <clears throat> is it Minister of Higher Education Blade and Zimande or Minister of Basic Education Angie Motsaha? Bye. Who said this? And friend, this is when I was on leave. Hey. What a clue. Is Angie. Yeah, I can't hope I like this person is speaking about NAFSAS and student union. Dr. Blade. Dr. Blade. Who said this? Hey, let me just go with Dr. Blade because May Angie, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> the answer 
you are looking for is Blade Zimande. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I got one wrong. Oh, guys. I, I want like, to get all right. I feel like that one wrong just pulled your spirit down. What's it? Dude, you're going to be right all the time. No, I mean, you, had, you did better than most people so far. So, yeah. Yes. Four, four out of five. It's a good number. Ninety percent, I get. Shine, shine, shine. Like I, I, I don't know. Labor. One out, one a little cut. Il kaladi. If you're allowed to say, friend. <laughs> so, what? My last question to you on a personal level. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you want? What, how does the future look for you? What do you want? I mean, the next five, ten years. What's sure. What's next? Um, I also see myself in business, friend. Mm. Um, you know me, Jalakari. Mm. I I want to be up there. I tend mm. to get bored uh, in a place for too long. I legit see myself in business. Mm. And yeah, God bless me. God bless my hustle. Amen. <laughs> You know, when you said God bless me, God bless my hustle, I thought you said God bless my husband. Is there any cuts for a husband? <laughs> no, why are you doing like this? But like, um, I, was, I saw your tweet. I think it was a video. If I'm not on Instagram, I saw your tweet. You were leaving the SABC and you were speaking to your colleague of yours. And you're like, no, I cannot have a So I cannot have a bit. Natasha. Um, such a good looking um, person. Friend, can I tell you? And somebody was saying this to me, ne? When was it? Was it two weeks ago? And it was just a number of us single ladies by Barco journalism. It yeah. doesn't necessarily mean they appear on TV. Yeah. And this person's like, you guys are too opinionated. Let's uh, the both <laughs> need to too much. You've got an opinion about everything. I reckon that the pipe could burst. You would mm. say, yeah, it was because it was aligned yes, in this position. Yes, yes. So um, people have this thing about us, and no, honestly, it's irritating. Um, yeah. Let me just put it out there. Before I'm a journalist, I'm also a person. I've got my yeah. own private life. Yeah. It doesn't mean every time, even when I go out into restaurants, I'll be listening at people's petty conversations. Yes, and you're going to report and, them because they're a journalist. Oh, you're, yeah. You know, I'm even scared to say I'm a journalist these days because they're like, oh, paparazzi. Scum record. <laughs> even if it's a simple thing for my boss, they're like, no, 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 we can't tell you what I've posted because you're going to report. I'm like, hey, there are issues of national importance. importance. <laughs> so, yeah, I just think, I won't call it a curse, but these are the things that we encounter on the field. And also, also, I think, for being a journalist, it must be hard to date one, not because of our hectic work schedules, but because also mm. we, we know a lot. And but you know what they say about relationships. Once you get a dog, we get a dog. Obe domo nyana man. Even no. mo, even moto apa is obe domo. My friend, no more, no more lying like a journalist. So there. I will never, guys. I can't. I'm don't sure. don't do that. Friend, don't I'll do that. Never. Don't, <laughs> don't do that. I'm sorry. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I want French. But, I hope so. I'm speaking into my future. Yes. A, a, I'm speaking into the future. A businessman. I'm going to be a businessman. I'm going to Serious. We are aligned. <laughs> we are aligned. Thank you, Neil. We but, are aligned. Uh, friend, thank you so much for joining me today. It was such a pleasure. For everybody who's tuned until this point, that means you actually enjoyed this podcast video. So please don't forget to like, mm. subscribe, comment, share this with your friends. If you comment and subscribe, YouTube pushes it up. So please do that. Natasha, any last words before we say goodbye? Thank you. Thank you for hosting me on your show. I really enjoyed this. Like, this is really fun. And oh my gosh, I got to tell you things I never told you. Oh, Listen, friend, you are that guy. Listen, that guy. One, one thing about me, Nate. 
I am the mm-hmm. Oprah of this shit. I will let you talk about sick. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, but guys. <laughs> One thing about me. Thank you so much, Natasha. Until next time. Bye. Bye.